in the second round of talks to forge a coalition government, in which issues related to democracy were mainly addressed, the ruling and main opposition parties have agreed to draw up a new constitution, while differences of opinion persist on some topics. During the seven-hour meeting on Tuesday, delegations from the ruling Justice and Development Party, AK Party, and the Republican People's Party, CHP, discussed topics such as the judicial system, fundamental freedoms, and election laws. According to the Haber Turk Daily, the two sides have reached a consensus to lower the 10% election threshold but differ on what the threshold should be. Previously, the CHP was reported to have proposed that the threshold be lowered to 5%, while the AK party was said to favor a 7% threshold. The delegations will meet again on Thursday and all topics are expected to be handled by Monday during the talks that are planned to be held every other day until then. The result will be reported to the leaders of the parties, CHP Deputy Chairman Hala KOC, who headed the party's delegation at the meeting, told reporters following the talks in Ankara. In remarks quoted in the Turkish media on Wednesday regarding the efforts to hammer out a coalition, Deputy Prime Minister Yalın Akdoğan did not sound particularly optimistic. We have exploratory talks with the CHP ahead of us. If that does not work, then there will be an early election, he said. As per the constitution, the president can call for an early election if a government is not formed within 45 days after the election of all members of the Speaker's Council in Parliament. The 18-member Speaker's Council was formed on July 9, immediately after which Erdogan gave acting Prime Minister Ahmet Davutoglu the mandate to form the government. The CHP's KOC said issues related to the constitution and rights and freedoms were discussed in a sincere way. Revealing that there are also topics on which no consensus has been reached, KOC said, we will continue with the talks keeping the matters in focus that need to be addressed today in Turkey. The topics discussed today included the constitution, the judicial system, the legal system and fundamental freedoms. In this context, any issues that might come to mind were brought to the table and discussed. KOC also added that all issues regarding political parties and election laws were also taken up during the talks. Omer Selik, the Minister of Culture and Tourism and head of the AK Party delegation, said the topics discussed during the meeting included a new constitution, democratization, freedoms, and election law. Following the meeting, Selik told reporters, everyone saw each other's position regarding the topics discussed. In response to a question regarding the election threshold, Selik explained, this is something to be decided during a meeting in which the party leaders will also be involved. Selik's answer to a question regarding the presidential system revealed that the issue was not a major topic during the discussions. We naturally have opposing views on the issue. We are focusing our energy on how to reach a consensus on points that are generally agreed upon but still have details to be fine-tuned, he said. The CHP delegation's proposal that parliamentary democracy be strengthened and the authority related to the appointment of some top-level public officials of the president should be trimmed was not accepted by the AK party. The AK party proposed instead that changes to the political system should be part of the discussions related to the drafting of a new constitution. President Recep Tayyip Erdogan, who headed the AK party governments before being elected president a year ago, is still a powerful figure in the party and has been pushing for a switch to a presidential system. All opposition parties are against the presidential system.